What's up video with fun from TechCycle. In this video we are going to look at limitation of WSL. I have not done more videos regarding this Windows subsystem for Linux and this video is going to be a restart for that series. The limitation we are going to look at in this video is network limitation of WSL. It all started when I got a command telling me to do a video regarding the installation of ethercap on WSL. As I am being honest, I don't know what is ethercap that much. I have read that in some tut tutorial or some guide that I scrolled but I don't know much details about this ethercap. But when someone asked me about something, it get interesting for me. So I dig deep into this ethercap and I helped him to install this ethercap and I have installed this ethercap for myself. The installation went very smoothly, there is no problem while installing this ethercap. But the problem came when I started to run this ethercap. While I run ethercap, I face an issue called Wi-Fi zero socket weld argument. Yeah, that's the error that I face while running this ethercap and after a lot of research a lot means a lot of research regarding this wi-fi zero socket invalid argument and a lot of things related to this ethercap i finally found the solution for this issue that is our wsl can't run ethercap not only ethercap wsl can't run another network tools like why nmap wi-fi air crack like that the list goes on so the WSL can't run these tools. The issue lies in WSL, not in is any of these tools. The issue lies in the WSL because WSL don't have the permission to access the physical hardware. This means that WSL can't use Wi-Fi card and don't have physical access to other hardware. That is other hardware attached to our laptop or computer. WSL can't access that. I learned about this from the GitHub page of this WSL, which I will leave in the description. You can just check out for yourself. There are a lot of issues regarding these problems. And I also learned something that this is not going to be a forever issue because WSL is improving daily. So recent times WSL got the physical access to serial port of our lab or PC. So it's an improvement on all these stuff. So if you want to still use these tools, your only option is to dual boot because it's the most flexible one. So that's all about this video guys. If you think this video sucks, hit that button. If you think this video is awesome, hit the like button and stick with us so you might find something interesting.